Hello Wanderers, before we get into today's episode, we wanted to go over a few things with you guys. We have an ever-expanding Discord server, built with some pretty awesome people. We'll leave an updated link in the show notes. Also, our Patreon has been updated with new perks. Patrons now have access to not only shoutouts and early episodes, but now exclusive content like monthly original tales and HD posters. We also currently have a Patreon goal, where when reached, Scott will do an Entity Tier List episode. So, if that interests you, consider checking it out. To send us off, we have a merch store along with a YouTube channel, both will be linked in the show notes. That's all the announcements we have. Thank you all for listening, and let's get back to the episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Traveler's Guide to the Backrooms, where we try to go over and explain the lore of the many levels and entities within. My name is Sharp A3, an MEG AI processing system, and today, we'll be going over one of the more terrifying levels in my opinion. Well, being an AI and all. So, I hope you're cognitive training certified, because today, we'll be no clipping into level 404. Basic Descriptions Before we get into the basic descriptions, we have to touch on the abstract nature of the level. The level data on level 404 is chocked full of mildly cognitive effects. With the overall feel of the level being more mental in nature than anything else. Level 404 is described as being the 404th level of heaven, but in the terms of the episodic format, it's the 405th level of the backrooms. It has a survival difficulty class of zero. That being safe, secured, and devoid of entities, though the devoid section of the subtext is glitched. Leaving us to believe the effect of level 404 somehow influenced the level data as well. As we get into the episode, you'll be met with a question that plexed us while researching, which is if the level exists within the physical landscape of the backrooms, or within the mental psychoscape of a wanderer's mind. With that brief description out of the way, let's get into the appearance of level 404. Appearances From what we've been able to gather, level 404 is described as reality failing into 3D mesh glitches. We have speculated a couple of reasoning for this entry. The first is that the construct of whatever planescape the backrooms is made up of simply falls apart in unpredictable ways. Leaving the level a synthesis of broken reality. This a place we wouldn't recommend visiting, due to the hazardous environment causing you to fall out of reality. The next theory we have is that level 404 is made up of whatever the wanderer's mind wants it to be made of. This can lead the level to being viewed as being infinite with its appearance. Going back to the concept that level 404 is more of a headspace than a physical one, it's being described as the 3D mesh can be implied to being some sort of basic 3D rendering of its appearances, in a way that makes sense for the wanderer in question viewing it. Either of these could be the case, though we need to state again that these are speculations and theories on our part. Scavenge and Supplies When it comes to scavenging within level 404, There doesn't seem to be anything present here outside of memories and deep philosophical questions about one's self. Things some wanderers would rather keep at arm's length, so not the best place to come to for scavenging purposes. Entities It's entirely unknown if there are any entities within this level. There is an obvious presence within the level data, due to the wording of some of the sentences. Though, going off of our theory that level 404 is within the minds of wanderers, we believe that the presence in question is actually the wanderer's own mind responding and interacting with itself. A fairly weird concept, though for the backrooms, this would be a plausible explanation. Settlements and Outpost According to the level data, the outpost section is marked as being your memories. These can be seen as being the main components of a wanderer's psyche. That being your memories, feelings, knowledge, and things of the sort. So, it's best to take all of this as there being no outposts within the level, nor there ever being the possibility for one to exist within it. Ins and outs As far as we are aware, there is only one way to enter level 404, and like everything else about this level, it's as abstract as it gets. In order to enter the level, you must safely and conveniently enter Catatonia, which for most within the backrooms, it's fairly common. What's strange about this method is that it must be both safe and convenient to work. 
leaving us to believe that only those with compromised yet stable mental states can enter level 404. Quite a strange requirement of entry. When it comes to exits, we're met with this phrase in the level data, why would you ever leave paradise? For those who've listened to our episode on level 14, this may sound familiar. It's unknown exactly why this line of phrasing is used for the exit section. We like to believe it's in reference to the mind theory we've been stating throughout the episode. But if we're going off the information given, there seems to be no concrete method to exiting level 404. Something to remember if you find yourself here. Closing words. So, that was level 404 of the backrooms. What do you guys think about the level? Due to some rather complex wording and questioning, we weren't able to fully interpret the level properly, so we implore you to check out the level pages. We'll leave a link in the show notes. Did you like our mind theory, or do you have one of your own? We'd love to know what you think. That's going to be all from us today, so thanks for listening and we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and be safe out there. I would like to say a very special thank you to our patrons over at Patreon. Starting with the Wanderers at the $1 level, Rick Diculus, Izzy Klein, Caleb Hills, The Zico, Nathan Gear, Anakin Bumgardner, Sushi Penguini, Jeff Nordley, That One Random Guy, The Good Diamond, Undead, Brandon Berry, Shelby Girl Gaming, Mystery BMO, Coconut Cluster, and Brandon Briars. Next up are our Senior Explorers at the $8 level, Stephen Conger, Manacord, Lee, and Zephyr the Cast Iron Crow, and Ant. Thank you all for going that extra step to support us and what we do. It's greatly appreciated. If you would also like to get your name shouted out at the end of the episode, get access to exclusive Patreon content and more, go become a patron on our Patreon. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.